glad to hear that. And I agree that sometimes people, I mean, we live in an age of, of uh, pretty much instant gratification. So, um, you know, content just keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And so I think people have a, uh, a real problem with the amount of time it takes to consume a book versus how much time it takes to create something. And you see that even with um, comics and whatnot, people are, you know, it, it was um, trying to take so long. Oh, yeah, God. it really, it really does. And, uh, but I mean, I think it, it's all just different mediums. Creating anything takes quite a bit of time. And so, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult to, uh, you know, establish that kind of patience that's required from people. Because even if you look at YouTubers and things like that, there's a lot of YouTubers that, that put out a, an extraordinary amount of content, you know, um, in, in very short turnarounds. And so everything just keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Yeah, exactly. And so I think it's, um, it's always good to have people be reminded that, you know, you got to, some things take time, <laughs> you know, and you it can't all take time. It's just varying degrees of time. The point that consumers are in what's known as the seven second cycle Mm -hmm. Which is every seven seconds they're paying attention to something and then they move on to something else. You that it only works in instant attention though. <clears throat> when um when a person has published a book, say as an example, because that's sort of my wheelhouse, James's wheelhouse. When a person publishes a book, you have seven seconds each time you post about it, you put any sort of spotlight on it. You have seven seconds to catch their attention. But that doesn't mean that after those seven seconds, they never think about it again. You have seven seconds to impress. That's the point. Well, you, and think about the word impress. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean to send somebody to a point of, of jubilation in their mind. That means to send somebody to a point of thoughtfulness where they will revisit that thought. Right. It's, it doesn't it, mean it, direct them to a website in seven seconds. It means no. It means put that mind worm in their head in seven seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I, and I think, I mean, if you think of the, what you said there, the word impress going back and it's something that i've had many conversations with uh you know very good friends of mine uh in my life language means something so to impress upon somebody it it's really taken on a new nature uh in the last 50 years the word impress means to you know oh if you impress somebody it's gone from this idea of simply getting somebody to think about what you're saying and then to revisit that thought to a point where they actually give it some thought mm -hmm. uh, to be a little bit reductive here to this point of where you have to where impressing somebody now means that you have you know said something to them that is so absolutely magnificent that it gets them to this point of jubilation every time and it that that's not what impress no. means that's not that's not what you should go for you you should want to impress upon somebody your ideas so they want to revisit that thought and revisit what you're saying again similar to like what i did when i'm i'm reading infinite money glitch to get ready for this the first night i read it i really wasn't there but I knew that I, I, you know, but there was that moment in that opening chapter with that shield glitch that it it just I thought about it and I was like, you know, that that that's interesting. You know, I, I like what he did. And I and it just kept gnawing at me. And then I, you know, the next night I go and I read it back and I'm and I'm thinking about it. And it just and and that moment got better for me the more that I thought about it. Because it made an impression, like an, in the traditional sense of an impression, not... And you the, thought the, about it multiple times over the course of a few days, probably. No, and I have. And I actually... Mm -hmm. No, and legitimately, I have. Yep. Um, because that was the moment that, for me, 
Um, if I were reading this as, uh, and to be completely honest with James here, if I were reading this as somebody who picks up the book and I'm reading this as just a reader, that's the hook moment for me because I keep thinking about it. Um, it was not the hook moment for me until a day or two later after I had been reading the book because I'm <laughs> sadly, I I'm, I'm, I'm reading books and things now and, 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 and checking out new authors and stuff now for, 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 for this channel, which does, it, it removes somewhat of the, the natural experience out of it. But, uh, I, I did recognize that if, if there's a hook for me, it was that moment. And, and I can say that it, it it's good to, it's good to think about it in that, in, in those terms. Yeah, comedy is all about the punchline. So mm -hmm. when you're writing a story and marketing a story that is inherently meant to be funny, your punchlines need to hit and like take a moment if you want to uh, and think about all the jokes you know, how many of them you start with the punchline in your head. Like mm -hmm. you think of the joke of what was that joke about the you know mm -hmm. this and it's always the punchline that you remember first and then it takes a while to remember the rest of the lead up so with a comedy book rice is correct the punchline is that moment of impression it's yeah. very important and it's very hard to do quickly maybe smarter people can do it quicker but that was as fast as I could get a punchline in after establishing this is the world, this is the character, this is the other character, this is the conflict. Boom. Joke. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.